Hey guys. Okay. Now I just threw this this together. This is what I'm going to use in case I have to bug out and I can't use my vehicle. This is also going on my truck if we have to bug out in case we get to a certain point where we can't use the vehicle anymore due to roads being blocked, due to you know whatever where i can't use my vehicle anymore and we have to abandon the vehicle you know i'm going to have these on the truck so i can at least carry more supplies and what they are are just regular garden wagons you use around your 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 home this is a metal one it's a little bit bigger then i have this one the reason i don't have this one um loaded I've been using it in the garden. It's muddy and it's everything like this. But this one right here, all, would, all I would have to do is drill a hole here and here, tie a rope, take it off its frame, and I, will, I would have a sled for the snow because, you know, the, the shape it is and everything like that. But this one right here, you know, I've done... I was I went to the storage room and I just started grabbing some stuff. If I had time if I was going if I knew we was bugging out and I could prioritize I could fit a lot more on here but like in this thing this 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 tub I have medical in there that has antibiotics, sutures, you know, everything in there. Um some cooking pots, candles, rope, fishing items, lighter, more lighters, flashlights and batteries, some tools like um, um, files and stuff like that, and some seeds. Um, these two right here, these two white buckets, are nothing but food. And down below here, right down there, is an ammo box full of ammo for our weapons yes i do have a tire pump in here and also in there is a tire patch kit because guess what these have rubber tires on it with tubes in there so i'm gonna have to and i've got the tools in there to take them off the rims if i need to um my water container i have a snares I have a e-swing axe, a shovel, traps. I've got my 330s, my 220s, my 160s, my 110s. I got some five inches in there. Um, there's a hammer somewhere in the mix in here. Yeah, it's in. It's down here. There's a hammer because the nails. I'm going to have to build a shelter. And I've got landscape timber nails. I've got 16s. You know, there's just a little bit of everything. When I do build a shelter, I have these hooks for hanging your coat, hanging your backpack on, hanging tools on, hanging whatever, you know. But this was a case, you know, I have to bug out and I can't take my vehicle. I will have some more supplies than what I can carry on my back. Now, I'm gonna have people say, Mike, you're making yourself a target. If people see you pulling this down the road, they're gonna come after you because they see all the supplies. That's gonna happen if you have a backpack on your back. People's gonna know you have supplies in that backpack. Look, in a SHTF situation, we're not going to be ninjas, gray men, you know, we're, oh, blend in. You know, if I have to bug out, I'm not blending in. I'm trying to get my family to safety. So I'm going to have the supplies I need. I'm going to be armed. My boys are going to be armed. My wife is going to be armed. And if we got other people with us, they're going to be armed. So I'm really not worried about having to defend defend ourselves. You know, 
if we see trouble, we're going to try to avoid it. You know, if we see a bunch of people kind of get off the road and see if they could see if they pass us by. But you're going to pushing this or having a backpack full of stuff on your back, you're going to bring attention to yourself. And you're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, if you could be in your vehicle and have it slap full and people see that, they're going to try to get your stuff off your vehicle. So you're not going to avoid it in a bugging out situation. You know, especially if you're in the city and you're trying to get out of the city. You know, people's going to see you have supplies. And they might see you have a, a water bottle on your in your backpack and they're going to come and get it because they're out of water. You know, you're just going to have to deal with that. That is something that's going to happen. You're going to have just to deal with it. But this right here would help me if I had to leave my home. This would help me thrive more. Because in a SHTF situation, bugging in or bugging out, you got the top priority, food, water, shelter, fire for heat source, light source, cooking source, and defense you know we're not going to have to worry have a light bill or a water bill or a cable bill or a rent or a mortgage or anything like that you we're going to be back to basics survival you're going to have to have food to survive i've got a ways to catch fish i've got a ways to trap i got ways to snares you know i got a ways to cook it up Water, you know, I've got my um, water container there. I can use the buckets to get water. And say I find a place and we make camp and there's a water source. Have you ever carried, you know, five-gallon buckets of water? Pretty damn heavy. I can fill those gallons up, those, those buckets up, put them in this or put them in that, and the boys could... Go down there, fill them up, and bring them back without a struggle. Firewood. You can carry firewood. If you're going to make if you make your fireplace, rocks. You can carry rocks in here without wearing yourself out. I mean, yes, I, I could, like I said, if I sat down and actually prioritized what I really, really needed... I would have more on here. And plus, like this, this is going to be more. You know, I can carry my tents in here. And down below here, I didn't know I mentioned it, I've got tarps for shelter. You know, there's a blanket there. Um, but I just kind of threw this together to show you guys what you could use these garden wagons for. I mean, this one, I was doing some clearing and this was out in the middle of the woods. And um, I asked the guy about it. And he says, yeah, I can have it. And it was all rusted and yellow and everything. And I had to grease the wheels, the wheel bearings and stuff like that in there. And paint it. But you can still see the, the paint's coming off. Because I've had it for a while. But um, they usually run about 100 to $180. It just depends on what size you get and these run about a hundred bucks you know that's about a hundred bucks but you know you can find them in different places you can find them at yard sales and stuff like that um i mean it it's a no-brainer to me because i can carry extra supplies extra food extra ways to get food shelter you know like i said if i get tired we get tired we can throw our bug out bags on there and secure them down you know, I can put my bow on here with extra arrows on here. Um, there's a lot more I can put on here and on that one to to make our life easier. You know, if we have to bug out to the mountains or the forest, that gives me an extra two months worth of supplies, you know, that I wouldn't be able to carry 
if I didn't have these. You know, I would just be dependent on my bug out bag. And you know, 50, or 50 60 pounds on your back walking is a, is a mother. This right here, one of us would be pulling it, another one would be pushing it, just like this. One would be pulling, one would be pushing. And you'll have the extra supplies, you know? Nails, you're gonna have to have nails to build your shelter. You know, I've got landscape timber nails, 16s, 8s, um, these hooks for um, hooking stuff up. You know, if you have to, you have to put your bug out bag on there. I got rope in here. If I have to lift something heavy, you know, I got chains around here if I need it to to, to put it on here because I could tie more on here. I think this has got a maximum maximum load of 500 pounds, and I think this is. 280 or 300 pounds so that's a lot of gear i can put on these two but um tell me what you think would you use something like this if you had to if you couldn't use your vehicle i mean like i said i'd much rather push this and have it when i get out into the woods and not have it and need it when I get out into the woods. You know, I would take the chance, the risk, because you're going to take a risk anyway of bugging out with people. You know, and you're going to be walking, taking a risk. So, piss on it. I'm going to take the risk of having what I need to help my family survive. And if it comes down to shooting somebody or shooting a couple of people to get my point across and leave me alone, this is for my family, then I'll do it. You know, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to deal with that if you have a backpack on your back. Because there's no ninja, you know, gray man ninja blending in if you're bugging out. You know, you're going to have to get out of Dodge and you're going to have to need supplies. Just like the mountain men, just like the frontier, they had wagons full of supplies to help them. You know, I don't have no horse. I don't have no buggy. I'm the horse, and that's my buggy right there. And, but I, like I said, I just threw this together with about 15 minutes just to show you that, you know, what you can put on here. Like I said, I could put more on here. And I, if I had time, I could actually go through, take my time, and prioritize what I need and how much I need and where it goes and place it right and carry a lot more in these two in these two but this is my this is what i'm going to use for my my bug out you know carry my extra supplies when i have to bug out if i can't use my vehicle and these are going in the truck with me in case we get you know to an area where we can't use the vehicle no more and we have to walk i might have to leave supplies behind but i can take what I can with these and you know that'd be it'd be better than nothing better than a bug out bag on my back because I got extra ammo in there I got tools I got traps you know food more food than I can carry on my in my bug out bag those two white buckets are slapped full of food but um Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to get off of here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.